Frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's oh continuing God, mission. This, this right here is basically telling me everything that I'm already seeing, that I'm already thinking it is. Okay. The way you wrote it out is basically like, look, because of her lies, her lies is what allowed Tennessee to, you know, to say we got jurisdiction under her false testimony. Dude, I need a lawyer. Uh, uh, what the fuck a word you want to take someone's property when they owe you? Seizing? Seizing assets. Like, okay, your car payments. You miss your car payments. They do what's your yeah, car? Repossess. Repossess. That's it. I'm repossessing everything. It's all mine. Repo. Nah, I, ain't, I don't want nothing to do with her. I just want to know if there's a way I can get this taken care of legally, like I'm doing so far. Mm -hmm. And then legally, file charges and everything yep. else I can do. And at the same time, file for a no contact order. Mm -hmm. Well, given this, that should be easy enough to get. Because basically what she did is legal uh, kidnapping. Mm -hmm. Dude, but I'm so happy. So I got caught on the 28th, not the 28th. That's okay. even sooner. Dude, I got to get this fucking weed out of my system. <laughs> Oh, I know exactly how to do it. I do, but it, it hurts my kidneys like a bitch. Oh, yeah. there's a there's you drink, a, uh, a shit ton of that. You take that gelatin and mix it with a Gatorade. Mm -hmm. Drink a shit ton of wood and stuff behind yep. it. <sighs> gelatin? Fuck yes, dude. It's fuck fat. Gelatin's fat. Tea. THC sticks to fat, bro. Okay. Do, does it have to be gelatin? Could it be something else? Well, you find something worse better than that. You find something fatter than gelatin. Gelatin is made of like pure fat almost. Mmm. Uh, what about fat? <laughs> <It's my> fuck. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so what you do is you get some sticks of butter and put a stick in it and throw them in the freezer and just start chowing down on butter popsicles all day. Uh -huh. Yeah, that would be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would love an excuse to eat a bunch of butter. Butter. There was, okay, you know, great excuse is you dumpster dive and you find boxes of organic butter. And so... What does this do, make me do? It makes me make a lot of things with butter, and uh, it's better with butter. Everything's better with butter. That rhymes, yeah. So it has to be true. I used to make buttered coffee every morning. Oh. I able to run a oh. So I can start doing that again. Dude, I didn't even tell you. So me and my old lady now, okay? Mm -hmm. we, every time we come down, we bring like fruits and stuff for the piglets. Mm -hmm. Now when we leave, they start whining, that and full. Aww. You mean like they like you? Yeah, they really like me. Aww. They really do. Aww. <laughs> we are, so I love them, little guys. Yeah. So, yeah, I got in there, setting the pin. I was holding them, patting them, playing with them. Yeah, they're awesome. Then they started sucking on my fingers. I was freaked out and yet excited at the same time. We're going to get a bunch more of those. I'm going to get some girl pigs. Then you don't have to continuously, the cycle's complete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having some good ass pork. I'm looking forward to having milk. No. Hmm? You're gonna do it that way? Well, I mean, one of those. We only need one, one male pot belly. Which one's the male? They both are. Oh, they're both males? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can take the fatter one. That's what you want anyway, the fatter one. Yeah, I want the bigger one. Yeah, you can take. Uh, he's an asshole anyway, yeah. so I don't feel as bad about, about that guy. Yep. The other one's great. He's like Wilbur from Charlotte's Web. Hello. Except their names are Hello? reversed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a female pot belly that I can throw in there. Um, I actually found only need two pot bellies. I think it was the other day. I, you want the same breed though. The too, same. Right? Oh yeah, I want a pot belly. Okay. So I want two female pot bellies. With one male. Pot, well, one male, one female pot belly. I want two pot bellies. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm looking for. It's a heritage uh, breed of pig from England. Mm -hmm. the, they're the ones that have like the eyes drooped, o the ears drooped over the eyes. Um, they're like lighter colored with like big spots on them. Mm -hmm. They're a cool looking pig and they're an excellent meat pig. Um, they're also pretty chill. Mm -hmm. um, and those guys I'm gonna start like running through the forest. Mm -hmm.
Um, the pigs you can let run in the forest? Well, so they're gonna, we're gonna use, uh, ultimately we're gonna use dead hedges like these mm -hmm. to contain them. Uh, initially we're probably gonna use like two strand electric, mm -hmm. like low electric fences yeah. um, with the poly wire to keep them in. Um, and then we set them up with like maybe like an acre or a half an acre of forest. Put them in there, so they got their let them do their spot, thing, yeah. and then when they get that all cleared out, we set up a new pen and move them into it. And then we can take that acre that they've already cleaned up, and we can plant a bunch of like food bushes in there, we can stick in some fruit trees, mm -hmm. we can plant a bunch of grass in there, and then that way we've got like good forageable forest that we can then run sheep through later. Right. So they're going to help clear out all of this mess and prepare it so that we can go and plant what we want and Dude, kind of move like them shit. through. The whole setup, man, it's like, you just like nature, Yeah. build for nature. Mm -hmm. There's no, oh yeah, I got three weeds, ready to get planted. Nice. Can't wait. You have what? All oh, right. Three pot seeds, ready to go. So I'm about to put, uh, put them in their boxes, uh, the little That's planter. Spot. Oh, i seen them oh. before. Okay, oh. now I know what that is. Oh, <laughs> They have their ears in front of their eyes so that they can see yep. better. Like my excuses, every time I get in trouble, I can't see shit, so you can't blame me. There they are, little fat asses. But they're a pretty good, like, big pig. They've been around forever. They're an old breed from, like, the uh, 1300s, I think, is as far back as they go. Mm. Yeah. Oh shit, you even see them type of nursery yeah. rhymes. So they're, little, they're little, an old, little, ass, like, kid books old ass breed of pigs. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm, yeah, trying to get, uh, I'm trying to get some of those my as old, our like main breed of meat pig. My old ball and chain's coming down. Okay. <laughs> Dude, she loves it down here. She's trying to get me to fucking stay in that little hammock with her and stay the damn out. She wants to stay in a teepee. Mm -hmm. I said, anything else? She said, you think he'll hear us? I said, you little freak. Y'all can go camp in that teepee whatever you want. I'm even moving it, like, over here somewhere so it's a little drier. Right. Yeah, I was thinking about that, too, with how everything is just, like, swamped out all the time, mm -hmm. especially around here. Yep. What is the plans for this general area? Like, so, it's mainly up in here where the, you know what I mean? This that we have fenced in right now, mm -hmm. that's all going to be bananas. All bananas. So it's going to be bananas with some, like, pineapple mixed in there. And that's um, this area that you got That's right this here. area right okay. here. Beyond this, from, like... Here to that pine tree that's next to the teepee, mm -hmm. that space we're going to be bringing in a bunch of fill to level it out, um, and we're going to be putting in three big ass greenhouses. Oh, okay. So there's really going to be not too much going as far as electric wise, or really no more gardening, nothing too. Not right here. Uh, we're going to plant more like, bananas like, I mean, on the other water. side of the on the other side of that mm -hmm. little road. Uh, that space we're going to fill in with more banana trees from like here to the perimeter fence, mm -hmm. um, and then up by the front where it's not quite so wet. Um, we're building a 25 by 35 farm store. We're building a uh, 52, 52 by 60 barn. Um, it's, it's a 30 by 60 barn with mm -hmm. two 16 foot lean twos okay. on each side. Yeah. Um, then across the way from that, uh, we're putting in a small pole barn that we're going to put our sawmill in. Right. And then, like, where that kind of falling apart half built shed is. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're dropping in a big ass shipping container with a pole barn in front of it, um, and have that as a workshop space. So yeah. all of like the power tools that can't get wet, yeah. uh, so we can throw in like our table saw, um, band saw, all of that stuff in the shipping container. Set it up with some benches in there, um, and then we'll have a <coughs> lean-to with some tables, uh, the pole barn with some tables and workspace, mm -hmm. and then next to it on that side of the road. We're dropping in five shipping containers, arranging them and welding them together to create a 16 by 60 mushroom farm. Oh, yeah. um, and then that'll have, starting out with two, ultimately four small greenhouses next to it. Mm -hmm. And then those are gonna be our fruiting chamber. Gotcha. So we'll produce everything inside, um, get all the spawn bags inoculated and ready to go, and then move those out into the greenhouses for fruiting. Um, and with that, we'll be able to produce something like 200 pounds of mushrooms a week, um, which is great because they sell for $20 a pound. Um, so, so that's like, you know, two two grand a week in mushrooms or something like that. Now, I got another question for you. It's kind of yep. personal. Where do I fall in all this? 
So I need to hire uh, someone for general farm help. Mm -hmm. So helping with some of the construction and mm -hmm. up and ends, but also um, mainly as uh, equipment operator. So that's why I thought of you. We're getting a new tractor. We yep. get one of those RK55 tractors with the AC and the Bluetooth. And Dude, I've never touched stuff. one of them. Yeah, so we're getting one of those. Um, and we're getting the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the excavator mm. arm attachment for the back of it. Yeah. Front loader, uh, tiller, um, kind of all the all the tools that we need for it. Uh, probably a new brush hog. You're getting a front end loader? Yeah. Um, <sighs> on the tractor. Because we need all these roads fixed. Beautiful. So that way we can dig a nice little drainage ditch like we've got over there mm -hmm. down both sides of the road. Yep. Pile all that into the middle. Level that out with the bucket. And then just start dropping loads of uh, lime rock. Yeah. This um, way we can start over there. We'll get that parking lot done. Yeah. And we'll work our way back. And that way as we create road, that creates road for them to get the truck down to drop the gravel. They back it up to the end of the road we have. Mm -hmm. Dump it in place. Yep. I know the whole Spread process. that out and just keep on moving our way down across the farm. We've got four and a half miles of farm road to do that way. That's fun. Um, and then we're also going to be digging a couple ponds and odds and ends, raising up some areas for like building foundations. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lot of equipment operation and then like help with odds and ends. Okay. So we're looking for someone that we can hire mainly as an equipment operator. I mean, I can operate. I mean, don't get me wrong. The excavator is not my area of expertise. Yeah, I am more of the assistant be. front end. But <laughs> look, trust and believe, I will jump on any piece of uh -huh. any piece of equipment. No fear. It, it, it that will. That shit's just fun. You'll be good at it by the time we get 